So our case is a again patient within EGFR less than 35, and this is the first time that we are reporting a case with this uh, this characteristics where DR budesonide was uh, initiated as a treatment. So the patient was uh, diagnosed with IGAN since 10 years ago, and looking at their pa the patient's characteristics, their kidney function was degrading so fast, and we wanted to introduce a new uh, treatment to patient's regimen so we can as at least stabilize uh, kidney function. So our team, what our team did was uh, starting delayed release with uh, to and uh, after and this graph here showcases the patient's follow-up year for one year and as we could see um, the UPCR and uh, EGFR started to uh, improve. So as you can see the patient's profile started to uh, look better and the treatment was successful uh, and promising. So what we want to do is to start a new uh, study where we investigate the use of DR budesonide in patients with EGFR less than 35 because again it, this is something that was not um, studied before and this is our last game. <laughs> Yeah, mostly the studies around glomerular disease because that's my area of interest. So I wanna, I, I can't wait to just like get more involved with other posters and all the talks. <laughs>